I just think that we're entering this crazy wild time in the industry and in software. I'm really like bullish on how we actually democratize accessible AI and AI at the browser layer. It just really like clicks. Did you think when you wrote the salad doc that you were talking about the salads? Um, no. Uh, my <laughs> husband said it was dumb. Uh, <laughs> Here we are. Skills are a small early feature we released in DIA this week, and we started with writing and coding. Not everyone is a prompting expert, and skills take the internet things you do every single day and packages them up into best-in-class AI prompts for the internet. They're personalized recipes that take everyday AI use cases and make them easy for just about anyone to do. The bigger picture for skills is what some would call AI apps. Much like there was for mobile, we believe that there will be an apps moment for AI and that the browser is where it's gonna happen. We're talking about AI apps in DIA. It was the heart of our team offsite in Chicago in April, and it's a topic I'll be presenting to the board next week. Honestly, it's also the thing that's keeping me up at night, both from excitement and just questions. It's definitely where we're gonna need your help. Stay with me for a minute. To understand DIA skills or AI apps, we need to talk about salads. So I'm a mom of two, it's pretty chaotic during the week, but every single Sunday, we try to cook a super nice family style meal. And I'll usually try to make some kind of a seasonal salad with whatever I have on hand. I think of a salad in three parts. It's really ingredients, recipe, and a dash of you. How does this map to skills in DIA? So for ingredients as context, I think of this as your tabs, your tools, the integrations or web apps that you use every day and the model that powers it. Recipe is a set of steps, so it's a really fantastic prompt, which makes up a set of instructions on how to use those ingredients the best way you can. And then lastly, a dash of you, which is memory and personalization, how we augment your compounding context to make skills yours, to really mold them to you. I really think context is king, and we're just so uniquely positioned as a browser to know your world. So these are all pieces that exist in different AI tools. We think they form the foundation of what will become AI apps, and they come together at the browser layer. Why call them skills? Well, skills aren't static. They're taught, learned, passed down, honed, and valued. Think about my grandmother's strawberry tart recipe. It's maybe not the best one, but it's the one I learned how to make and to make it her style. Um, or seeing a craftsperson at work, somebody who really, really has like honed their craft and just being in awe of it. So today the ingredients are just tabs and the steps are honestly pretty basic. We're gonna bring the skills vision to life over the summer by starting by bringing memory automatically into your context. If you take like traditional browser history as a kind of like a dated thing, when you feed that in to a skill as context, it just becomes so much more powerful. And that idea is really, really like infectious to me. With Dia, literally every single tab we open it's just like the equivalent of like a TikTok swipe. It's like, oh, now we know this about you. Now we have this context. Now we have this context. Imagine an onboarding skill that comes preloaded with all of your team's context as ingredients. The base that makes up and runs, honestly, everything you do. So I think there's some really interesting things we can do as we start to bring memory automatically and power up ingredients as context. So today our recipe for skills are pretty basic. It's like a single prompt, maybe a single step. Over the summer, we're excited to unlock skills with more steps. Skills that chain together different tools, make decisions, handle complex workflows, that listen and react to heuristics you give them. 
So everything from reading your calendar, your coworkers' calendars, being able to like really quickly use that context to help find a time that works great. Kinds of skills that have multiple steps that actually involve different tools in a different chain um, all come together to actually make up something that's actually pretty valuable and fast. All right, and lastly, expanding context integrations. The way you use your tools is live, and we want your integrations to be live too. So things like with YouTube, we automatically, actually in DIA today, scrape the transcript as context and augment our chat skill with timestamps, allowing you to summarize and jump to the parts you care about in videos. With Canvas, we actually support asking questions on Canvas about your courses. So even the PDFs that are photocopied and hard to read, um, as handwritten notes, uh, you can ask to be quizzed back on them, which is pretty awesome. We're gonna con continue helping you to get the most meaningful context from your tabs so memory ingredients don't feel stale. Apps are made by people, not top-down by companies. And while some of our favorite apps are native apps, think like Apple Notes, Messages, Photos, some of the original iPhone apps we love, most of the ones we've deeply fallen in love with come from third-party makers. Apps like Not Boring Weather, Paper, Darkroom, Instagram, or Things. So here's where we need your help. We want to see what you want to make and what ingredients you need to actually do it. We don't even know what this will look like by fall. So what are the first salads we should make? What are the first skills we should build in Dia? There's a type form below on whatever platform you're on Drop the skills you'd love to make in your email and we'd love to get in touch.